From Chicago's NBC5, this is NBC5 News at 10. And tonight's good question, how do they get those pictures on the sides of Chicago's skyscrapers? Now to our regular Thursday night feature, good question. Every week we find out the answer to a question that one of our viewers sent to us. This week the question is, how do they put those pictures on the sides of skyscrapers? Our Phil Rogers went in search of the answer and he joins us now tonight with what he found out. Phil? Yes, tonight, Allison, we have our good question, Blackhawks edition. We already did how they convert the basketball court to ice at the United Center. So tonight we decided to think really big. Big pictures like these are the result of a big effort and lots of planning. Now, as you can guess, it helps if your building has a lot of windows. The CNA building has a lot of windows. We asked the uh, people who are going to actually do it if it's feasible. CNA's Dan Perez has become perhaps the city's most accomplished window artist with some big pictures you probably remember from the last two decades. Probably 20 to 30. It all starts with the design. Using a picture or just an idea, Perez draws his design square by square. Each of these windows can be controlled. I can either turn it on or off. Slowly but surely, the picture takes shape. Not only every floor, but every window gets a number. When the image looks the way Perez likes it, he creates a new diagram showing how it will look from the inside for the crews who will create the finished product. We've broken the building into five floor sections because this makes it a little easier for the trades to do it. And after that, the real work begins. Crews mark the windows, which are to stay open with a dot. When the design needs a little help, these foam core panels go up. The actual open and closing of the blinds begins at about 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Lights are left on on all floors unless it's an office where the blinds are to be shut. In areas where there's recessed lighting, these utility lights are brought in to brighten things up a bit. We actually put up signs actually in four different languages for our cleaning staff at night and for the occupants of the, of the office to leave their lights on all night long. The final result is spectacular. Over the years, the CNA folks have done some incredible displays, but this one? It was challenging because we are always restricted just on or off. And all of that work, about six people do all of it. The saddest part is that most of those incredible pictures you just saw exist for one night only. Remember, we want your questions. Our address is goodquestion at NBCChicago.com. And one other thing, Mike McGovern, our photographer, ran after all those guys I was four wondering. by four by four. <laughs> he was pretty, uh, pretty tuckered out. Good thing he's a young guy still. That's yeah. way more complicated than I thought oh, it was. It's a huge amount of work, and those pictures, they're, they're beautiful. And these guys all have other jobs they do, too. Yeah, they all day jobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. A big Thanks, effort. Phil. Very cool. Great Thanks, story. Phil. Do we know what they're going to put up there next? Hmm, I wonder. Maybe they'll make a Stanley Cup or we'll something. Go for the Cubs or Sox, maybe, you know. A Stanley too. Cup. Oh, no, I come like on. That. The come Stanley on. Cup. The Stanley Hawks. Cup We're all about good. the Hawks. Oh, sure. I see the grid pattern already, Allison. I think we could do it on the NBC Tower, but I, I don't know if we have, enough, we have enough lights. Maybe the, we get those utility lights. We'll bring those in. <laughs> Here's our pinpoint radar. All the